Hi everybody, this is Olivia. Today we are going to paint the second rose dangle. And I'll just talk through a little bit about what I'm doing. I am using the same color pink that I did on the first rose, only I am making this particular rose quite a bit lighter just for variety's sake, no other reason. And the little circles on the dangle line, I am going to create those to kind of look like pearls. Only, you know, pearls typically are kind of white or a cream color. I am going to create these in a similar color as the rose. Okay? And now I'm using the same process that I did on the first rows. I put the light pink background down and I am building up the more three-dimensional look by going around the marker outline with the deeper rows and then just loading my brush with some water, a little bit of water, and going right next to that color so that color bleeds into the water which creates depth. It's really a pretty easy process and it's quite effective. I would like to ask you if you enjoy this video to please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like. I would love it and hit the little bell notification to be notified of future videos. Okay, carrying on. I am painting the little pearl dots. I'm doing the background. Now I am going to get some of the darker rose color and I am going to go back over the large rose to help build it up so it looks a little more three-dimensional. You don't have to continue to do this many, many times. You just need to do it until you feel that you've reached that three-dimensional quality that you're happy with. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to mention that I just recently went through a move and so I'm living out of boxes at the moment so please don't pay too much attention to my styrofoam takeout box that I'm using for a palette. As soon as I find my regular palette I'll get it out and use it. Okay um, now I am going over with a darker rose color on the flower a little bit more and I'm not sure if you can see how it looks more three-dimensional as I do this but depending on the paper you're using you do have to be careful because you can only go over something so many times before your paper will start to um, disintegrate a little bit so it's a good idea to know your paper. Okay? Okay. Now I've gotten some Chinese white and I am going over the rose in the center between the marker lines that will help it to pop to bring it out even more and make it look more three-dimensional. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm going to work on the little pearls. Uh, 
I also wanted to apologize for the wiggly video. Because of my move, I'm just using what I can find to create the videos. And longer story shorter, I used my tabletop tripod, not even thinking about that every wiggle I make, the camera's going to wiggle. So I'm really sorry. And as soon as I find my other tripod, I'll start using it. So thanks for your patience. Okay, I thought this would be a good time to mention that I've taken a really small round brush and I am using the dark rose color and only going over one side of the little pearls and you can see that I am going over the right side and making it darker so that will add a little bit of dimension to it and then when I'm all done adding the dark rose color I will add a highlight to the center and opposite side so that will help it all look more three-dimensional If you would like to help support my channel, I'll have links below in the description box for Patreon and the PayPal link for a one-time contribution if you would care to. I'd really appreciate it. It will help me to be able to keep the channel up and going. Thanks! Okay, going over the large rows just a little bit more with the white now my idea of this I wanted it to be really really feminine but I wanted to keep it really simple at the same time so I thought making a little string of pearls for the dangles and then having a rose at the very end would accomplish it quite well. I really do like it. And once the green gets on there, I think it'll pop that rose right out and complete it. I remember when I was uh, a small child that there used to be quilts made with wraparound roses. I haven't seen any in years. I always thought they were so pretty. They would just sew little circles and stitch that swirl. They were really, really pretty. Like I said, I loved them. And I even remember seeing a few little girl dresses with them on them. Okay. So now on the leaves, after you put the base color down, then you want to kind of do what I did on the little pearls. You outline it and you can do one side or you can go all around it however you'd like with the dark green and then pull back off some of the paint. So what you would do is you'd rinse out your brush and dry it off a little and then just run your brush on top of that but it obviously would still have to be wet. You can't do it when it's dry. 
and then once you get it the way you want it put some white in the center and that just makes it pop And that's really all there is to this one. It is so simple. You could have it done in minutes. An idea to consider is taking this dangle and maybe making the pearls go around in a circle and turning it into a frame. I think that would be very, very pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you give it a try. And if you do, I'd love for you to post in the comments how it went for you. Okay, have a wonderful day. Much love, Olivia.